All that I was Christians saying. have a different judgment than the you great think white I'm exaggerating judgment. here, but I'm really not. The judgment seat of Christ is the judgment that all saved Christians will go through one day when the works that we've done for Jesus Christ are consumed in fire, revealing the true nature behind them. Any bad works are burned up, and any good works are rewarded. Paul writes, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Notice the words in verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. If you think it's going to be all peaches once you're in heaven, think again. God doesn't wipe away our tears until after the millennial reign. Paul also writes, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So what does it all mean? Why does it matter if you get rewards in heaven if you're still saved either way? Well, that's because your rewards at the judgment seat of Christ dictate whether you will rule and reign with Christ in his millennial kingdom with him. Your salvation is secure, yes, praise the Lord, but if you come up empty-handed at the judgment seat, then you won't receive a crown, a reward that gives Jesus glory by his servants ruling and reigning with him when he sits on his earthly throne. Can't you see now? Your reward isn't for you, it's for him. Your reward is serving him in the millennial kingdom, and if you don't have a crown, you won't serve him, you won't reign with him. So all this, oh, I don't care about rewards nonsense, is really just a false humility from an unlearned Christian who is really saying, oh, I don't want to suffer for Christ. I'm good with what he did for me, but I'm not going to do anything for him. I don't care about giving him glory. I'm just worried about me. The judgment seat of Christ terrifies me, as it should. I mean, seriously, how much have you or I really suffered for Christ? Ruckman used to put it like this. The thing is, go home and write down, here's what to write down. Write down something you did for the Lord because he wanted you to do it and told you to do it. And when you did it, you got no glory for it, no blessing from it, no praise from it, no credit for it, and it did you more harm than good. That'll go through the fire. So let this be a warning to those of you who aren't doing anything for him. Do something anything, even if it makes you uncomfortable, especially if it makes you uncomfortable. Hand out a tract, share a YouTube video, <coughs> talk to your unsaved family or friends about salvation. Just do something. One day, very soon, you're going to be standing in front of your Savior, the man who created you, who died for you. How will you feel if you can't give anything back to him in return? And the irony is, Everything you give to him, he gives right back. What an amazing God. Thank you all for watching.